we have is an update of a site plan uh, for the Val North Business Park. And as a part of that, let me get to those first slides. Uh, basically, what has happened is the county has moved forward with plans to um, improve Stewart Circle. And as a part of that, the applicant has continued to develop this business park uh, commercially. And with that, there is a condition on the previous site plan that said Stewart Circle shall only be accessed for uh, emergency vehicles. And so with that, what they've done is we advise them that sometime in the near future, before it penalizes them with uh, time or any type of new development, we'd recommend you update the site plan and potentially remove that condition. Said so Stewart Circle is literally being paid as we speak. We expect it to be completed by the end of March. Um, so the applicant agreed, prepared a new site plan for us, which is what you have. Staff has reviewed this site plan. You can see the various points that have been updated. We tried to highlight those within the report. Um, I think the only updates I would have beyond just recommendations of approval from everyone except the health department, I'm not aware of any concern from them. They just were not at the meeting last week. Timing. Uh, but with that, we had recommendation of approval from staff. Uh, Commissioner Folsom, I know you had questions about traffic and certain things you wanted us to check on, and I did that with the county engineer. Um, the county engineer did not recommend any traffic improvements due to the increased traffic he's expecting from this. This is expected to be an alternative entrance uh, and exit to the development, but not a main entrance and exit. The applicant still wants to keep that from 41 North uh, because that's where all of the uh, visibility is. Uh, you also wanted to know about if there are going to be changes in alignment on Stewart Circle. The answer for that is yes. The road pavement is going to um, loop and straighten out those bottom and top entrances for a better alignment there. Um, potential improvements to 41 North. Um, this section is going to be a three or five lane widening that's going to stretch from North Valley Austin to Dasher Grove. We all knew that. Um, conceptual designs have been done. It's under thorough design now, and construction is expected to begin uh, this fall, fall 2017. And then the last point, which is why I waited on purpose, was does there need to be any special accommodations to Stewart based on truck traffic? I can tell you that the county engineer um, has a concern about trucks that have 10 wheels, 10 wheel trucks, because of the heaviest, obviously they, they take the most to move around. The applicant doesn't expect any 10 wheel trucks to come out this way. As a matter of fact, it's not legal through the Department of Transportation for them to use Stewart Circle or 41 based on their weight and their size. Um, I expect the engineer and the applicant to meet at least one more time before the county commission meeting about whether or not they want to do a condition on that. They just want to let that be. But that's the only issue I wasn't able to get resolved by the time we have a planning commission hearing tonight was I think that there was an initial conversation with uh, the applicant about that condition. I think he's reluctant to agree to it because he feels like the state would just write him a ticket as is. I think the county engineer probably wants to explore that a little bit more. But that could be some potential movement based on that question that I expect before the county commission to hear the case. Okay. Now, was listen to anyone that might, would like to speak in favor of this request? Anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please state your name and address for the record, sir. I'm John Simon, I live at 5150 Rocky Ford Road. And um, as Jason said in, in detail, um, I, the reason for the is the removal of the condition, which was put in place in 2011, mm -hmm. prior to any plans to pay Stewart Circle. And uh, at this time, um, with the with the advancement of the pavement and the, uh, we felt like. Um, <coughs> It, it, it's just a, it's a, it would create an issue uh, for me to have to um, work through this. That's that's not a necessary condition uh, at, at this time with the advancement of the development. Um, and and so I do, I do not intend to create a new entrance or anything of that nature. That is not that's not the uh, the goal here. Uh, as uh, Jason and Carmela pointed out to me in a meeting, that uh, it, it, we, we want to attack this now rather than later. It, it was just a, a timing is, is wiser now. That's all. Any questions? Or questions? Yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Just so we can understand, are you trying to put the conditions that were 
was one about limiting the access of students to other people just emergency. Is that one of the conditions, right? Yes, so what, so you, and what is the what's being proposed? You want to be able to use that as an actual access into the development or are you just canceling that altogether? I just want to remove the emergency only condition. Okay, so, so you so want to be able to use the, that access, that point of entry or exit. Correct. Um, what was the other condition? I'm sorry, the, uh, the 10 feet right of way. What was the purpose of the 10 foot right of way? That was before the road was improved. And so there was only a, I don't remember if it was a 35 or a 40 foot right away. And the engineer was just saying, eventually one day if we do pay this, we're going to need your help with right away, which is something they've already satisfied. Okay, so there's no need for that. No, because no, no. now they have, uh, I believe it's uh, the new site plan, should, it's a 60 foot, which is what they do. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you very much, Mr. Sonny. Yeah. Anyone else would like to speak in favor of this request? Okay, moving on. Anyone would like to speak against this request? Anyone here that would like to speak against this request? Okay, hearing or seeing none, I'll turn it over to the commission for their final dispensation. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend approval of this request uh, as having been found consistent with the comprehensive plan and the uh, conditions since uh, with the changes that have taken place out there no longer being necessary. Okay, we have a recommendation by Mr. Wiles and a second by Ms. Collins. Any other comments? Okay, please raise your right hand if you're in favor of this. All right, thank you very much. It was unanimous, Ms. Cornella. 